Hi Pisces, how's it going? And welcome to your May general reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Pisces, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Pisces, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Pisces, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Pisces, how are you doing? Again, this is your May general reading. Y'all know the drill. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Pisces? All right, my loves, y'all have temperance at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarian. This is their card. Temperance is about patience for something to come in. I feel like Spirit's asking you to be patient just a little bit longer. Um, there's a lot of healing going on in your situation. And definitely divine timing is at play here. Yeah, you need to be patient, five of swords. I feel like there's still some kind of conflict in a situation that needs a little bit more time to sort itself out. Spirit, what's going on with Pisces? Temperance and the Five of Swords together is some of you are, um, there's some conflict resolution coming. Some apologies coming in, okay? What do we have from Pisces? Yeah, ooh, we have the Ten of Swords and the Justice card. So it looks like a little bit in your recent past, Pisces, there's definitely um, some type of ending here. I feel like I, I, feel like I want to smile. I feel like you're, like you're happy about, because Ace of Wands. There is some type of, I'm hearing release, like I'm just gonna let that go type of energy. Ten of Swords. I'm not gonna think about that anymore. I'm not gonna think about them anymore. Justice card, Ten of Swords. I feel like you balance the scales in your situation by letting go of, Ten of Swords is letting go of the ideas and expectations that other people have projected upon you. Yeah, I, it's just kind of an energy of you being tick, sick and tired of the bullshit. Um, Pisces in the way of like people's opinions, you know, why do you look like that? Why do you dress like that? Why do you, you know, why are you into that person? Why do you talk to them? Why, 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 why? A lot of those whys, it's just like, it's your understanding. It's not your responsibility to give a shit about what anyone else thinks about you, right? What someone else projects upon you, their opinion, you're smarter than this. You know, when someone's projecting their opinions upon you, it's just the own, their own fears, their own worries, their own mirror image of themselves. Because what are you, Pisces? You're a mirror image of most people, right? And and a lot of you, you know, Pisces, you, you absorb that energy. So it's like, it's just a reminder to, oh, don't pick that up. Oh, that's not mine. That's not mine. See that type of energy. Beautiful. Okay, so you've definitely balanced the scales and let something go. Woo! Yes. Then we have the moon card, your card, Pisces. Also could be dealing with a cancer. And then we have the star card, card of Aquarius. Look at this. When you release and let go, ten of swords, justice, moon, star. Major arcana. <laughs> Things come into fruition for, for you. There's something coming for you here with this star card. This is like a big, a big energy. It really caught my attention and it came out with the moon card, which is specifically tied to you. This is a huge, huge wish fulfillment. This is a huge wish fulfillment coming in, yeah. Ace of Swords. You know your truth, Pisces. You have the Moon card here with the Justice card. You know who you are. You know 
Um, I feel like you're not really afraid of anything right now. There's just like this confidence within you, especially here. We see you very crystal clear in this deck, the moon card, you're very crystal clear. You're on a pedestal, you're protected. Usually like your angels and guides back here on these pillars and you're looking, you're connecting right with the moon, right with your emotions, your energy. And when you do that and you're truly authentic to you, blessing after blessing after blessing comes in for you. That's exactly what I heard. What else do we have for my lovely Pisces? Like we're just going right in real, real deep into this reading just from the start, but I love it. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way, Pisces. <laughs> Oh, now we have the Hierophant, another major arcana. Pisces, get ready for May to pop off. Hierophant, Taurus energy, Taurus's card. Also, the North Node is in Taurus, and there's a lot of blessings coming in here for you because you've committed higher level energy, high level commitment. Justice in the Hierophant for some of you. Um, there's definitely some type of like secret, I, I want to say secret admirer type energy in a way, moon card, star card, Hierophant. There is someone in high regard, someone that you look up to, someone or a position, an opportunity. It still feels a little bit hidden for me, but anyways, it's about a higher level commitment. It feels like, um, I'm almost getting the energy of like, wow, is this too good to be true? So be careful with that. We have the nine of cups, another wish fulfillment, two of cups and the seven of cups also came out with that, but they said, put it back. So we have two wish fulfillment cards on the table. this message for you okay after your nine of cups is wish fulfillment you have the knight of wands this is a fire energy could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or someone just with a lot of passion someone who has i'm hearing like gusto a lot of gusto they're very expressive it also could be you but i feel like this is someone coming in because we have the two of pentacles and the ten of cups out with this knight of wands bottom of the deck we have the emperor i see a knight of wands that's bringing you an offer here, Pisces, Two of Pentacles. This person is very passionate about you, this Knight of Wands. They either, Two of Pentacles, they either wanna work with you. This is someone who wants to collaborate. Hey, Pisces, I see how you're really shining bright here. You've got the Moon card, the Hierophant, the Star card. Things are really working out for you. You're really looking good. You're really in your power. Someone wants to sign up to Two of Pentacles. Someone's gonna give you something to you're going to have to weigh your options here. But I see a knight of wands grown up into an emperor here. This is someone who's like, hey, um, I want to work with you, collaborate with you, build with you in business. Emperor Two of Pentacles is definitely about business. But tied here with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups and the Moon card, I feel like this is a little bit of both. I feel like this is like... Um, how are y'all saying it? My guides are saying, you know, when like you're traveling and people are like, oh, are you traveling for business or for pleasure? It's a little bit of both here. You're getting a little bit of both, best of the best of both worlds. <laughs> the 10 of cups, the nine of cups. This is a emotional fulfillment. I love this for you. This is absolutely amazing. I feel also with this two of pentacles, um, remember how I just said it feels a little too good to be true. If someone's offering you say a job, a position, something like that, and it feels too good to be true. If the benefits, if the pay seem too good to be true, listen to your intuition on that. Emperor, star card, 10 of cups, two of pentacles, knight of wands. If there is an emperor around and a masculine figure giving you an offer, you know, nine of cups, 10 of cups, an emotional connection. Someone coming in, hey, I wanna offer you something Pisces in love, in romance. But if it, again, there's this energy of 
it feels a little too good to be true check that that's the only kind of uh, that's this two of pentacles right here is is this good for me is this not good for me is this on the plan is this on the path of hierophant energy of high level commitment or is it not that's what you're asking yourself when this offer does come in here okay let's break it down and see um what's going on because behind behind the emperor, emperor there is an offer we have the page of pentacles wow and the tower and the full card this offer i feel like is going to knock you off of your feet here this is going to knock you off of your feet page of pentacles in the tower what someone wants to bring to you it's it's like when you when this offer comes in it's going to change your situation and change your life it, it's going to be a memorable moment it's, it's this is going to be a moment in time where someone offered something to you and you'll never forget it Okay, Pisces, let's keep going with this. So uh, bottom of the deck, we've already pre-cut and shuffled this for you. You have the Queen of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Knight. Hi, Bubba. You come sit down? It's raining and storming where I'm at, so he's a little bit nervous right now. Um, but bottom of the deck, you have a lot of beautiful people around you. You're showing up as this Queen of Wands. Very, very attractive. Very in your power. People are looking at you because you're on fire. You're this queen of wands energy, okay? Look at this page of wand or page of cups. There's people wanting to, hmm, look at Pisces. I want to offer my cup to them. I want to get to know Pisces better. That could be a friend, a romance, but whatever it is, it's backed up with this knight of knight of pentacles energy, stability, longevity. No matter who's coming in, stability and longevity. We like this. We like that. All right, Pisces, let's look back. Let's see what happened with this Ten of Swords, releasing that kind of, uh, that's not my problem. Uh, that's not my story. Uh, that's not my That's not my baggage to carry, right? For example, Spirit goes, this is a prime perfect example. For example, I get a ton and ton of supportive, loving, amazing comments on my channel. But every once in a while, I get some haters out there. I get some people who, hey, I don't like what you're wearing. Hey, rah, 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 and they give me some kind of crappy comment. I know after being on my channel for multiple years now to not take that shit personally, right? That's a perfect example of ton of swords of like, hey, if someone's projecting some negativity, say in my channel and my comment section, I don't need to take that personally. I know that if someone says, Jacqueline, I don't like what you're wearing. Where's your hat? Or where na 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 or something silly. I know that that person is having a deeper problem with their image, with what's going on deeper with them, right? We know that, okay? That's a perfect example of a Ten of Swords justice card of you balancing the scales saying, that's not my that's not my problem. I don't have to deal with that. Here, Bubba, why don't you come sit down? Right here, Bubs. That's a good boy. He's not sure about sitting down. Spirit, what's this Ten of Swords for Pisces, please? What's this Ten of Swords? See, perfect. I'll have a death card. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just like I said, death card on your Ten of Swords. Uh, card of Scorpio. Some of you could have been dealing with a Scorpio. But also in this deck, we see the Divine Masculine with his crown off. And I feel like if you also were dealing with a Divine Masculine who's not in his power or was not in his power, he or she, I'm just talking about a masculine energy. It's like, hey, if, you, if you're if you not a part of this, this journey I'm on, oh, you don't want to be a part of it? Bye. You know what I mean? Like you were afraid to... Um, you're not, you were not afraid to let somebody go as well for a lot of you. And that gave you ace of wands that gave you a lot of confidence. That gave you a lot of confidence to release somebody, release the idea of somebody. 10 of swords, Pisces, please. Okay. Five of swords, exactly. 10 of cups and the four of cups releasing the ideas of something of somebody. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm hearing, um, for a lot of you, man, I really saw potential in that person, 10 of cups, four of cups. I really saw potential in that friendship. I really saw potential in that person, man, we really could have had a great time. We really could have 10 of cups, this thing you have the 10 of cups coming down here, but you had to release the idea. I feel like a, of a lot of, um, 
wanting to fix people again. I feel like there's also a little bit of a fixer energy coming through Pisces where um, there's people and, and energies around you of you see them, you connect with them on an emotional level and there's that fixer energy that comes in. Oh, I could help them because they're projecting on you. This person's negative and you know that that person needs really at the end of the day more help. But again, that's not your problem. That's not your job or duty to like fix or be a people pleaser any longer, right? This is you standing in your power and be like, you know what? I can only help this much, but I can't help this much right now. I can help this much, but you know what I mean? Like there's this energy where you've also um, really worked on your boundaries here with specific people in your close circle community. Like round of applause, amazing work, Pisces. That is so good for you. Let's look at the justice card in the recent past. Card of Libra. We have the double nines on this. Uh, we have the Hermit and the Nine of Wands. Uh, could be a Virgo. Also, some of you are or were dealing with. Um, I feel like, again, for a lot of you, this is where you've really been tested in the recent past Pisces. Nine of Wands, Hermit. You try to like come out of your shell. I don't like what I see out there. I'm gonna go back in. I'll be patient. I'll wait for things to I'll I'll wait for things to calm down. You're you've been waiting for things to calm down and you've been okay in hermit mode. Maybe not the happiest in hermit mode, having to be isolated and pulled back away from people, from situations, but you know it's for for the it's better for the long run. Yeah, you really had to, they're showing me like a bow and arrow. We're, we're, we're about to hit your target, Pisces, with this Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Star card. You're about to hit a target that you've been wanting to hit for a long time. But again, Spirit had to make sure that you really want that target. And before they release that arrow, you know, we got to pull, pull, pull back. You sure you want it? You sure you want it? You sure? You sure? Boom. Before the release, we got to, Spirit's got to make sure that this is for you, Judgment Card, Knight of Wands. And this is your knight down here. Okay, so you definitely had to rise above and really go through a lot of tests. A lot of tests, releasing people, situations that are not for you. Again, also this, this Knight of Wands, Knight, Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands. Someone in your past that you were dealing with had this player energy. And you kept pulling back from that. No, I don't want to be a part of that. If you're not going to be someone who wants to sign up and invest with me um, for, you know, in my life as a friend, as a partner, as a lover, as a whatever, then I don't really know where, <clears throat> then I don't really know where this is going. So I was getting choked up there. So you weren't able to maybe speak up or speak your truth around somebody in the recent past. So you've been making huge decisions to focus on you, work on you. What's this moon card about for Pisces, please? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Yeah, you've had a lot of options, Seven of Cups. You've had a lot of options here, Pisces. You've had a lot of, like, if you're single and, like, you're dating kind of energy, <clears throat> you, Eight of Pentacles, You've had a lot of options. I could go out. I could explore. I could do this. But Eight of Pentacles, you're like, no, or I could grind. Uh, I could also work out, or I could also eat better today, or I could also, I feel like you're making healthier choices. Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. The options that have been laid out in front of you, you're like, hey, some of them, I'll still choose this. But some of those cups, you're like, no, I'm going to choose the healthier option. I'm going to choose the more abundant option. Who are you right now? <laughs> Straight up doing so good. You have the three of pentacles and the moon card out again. Um, double moon card here is there's been a, a super, super secret. Super, super something being hidden from you. Three of pentacles, seven of cups. I also feel like there's a collaboration, three of pentacles, someone um, in your family, someone even in romance for some of you who wants to, three of pentacles start to build their life and build their legacy with you, work on a foundation with you, 
but it seems to have been have gotten off on a rocky start in the past seven of pentacles there's been some kind of delay in someone wanting to rework something with you why is there a double moon energy on that please See, exactly like what I said. I'm going to put it back, but I just wanted to clarify. Like I said, there is a blessing coming in. And I was like, double moon. That's like y'all really hiding something from Pisces. And Spirit said, yes, that's correct. We're hiding what? An ace of pentacles. A huge, fat blessing. A home, a new job, a windfall of money. If it's about a person coming in, an ace of pentacles is someone who wants to invest in you and be around for the long haul. Okay? Four of swords. about it's the emperor who's at the bottom of the deck it's the emperor it's a divine masculine ace of pentacles oh my gosh and he came out with the page of pentacles oh my god it's the same it's the exact same card they're the exact same cards here it's okay bubs <laughs> so there's definitely an emperor coming out to give you page of pentacles they're gonna give you an offer but it's going to seem small at first. Hey, Pisces, can I take you out to coffee? Hey, I want to just, uh, it's, it seems very small at first, but this it's a lot bigger than that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Again, that could be a job. It's like a dream job. It's like, it's like someone maybe offering you a working career, like a dream job or a dream, like at your dream, say, company. Like maybe you always wanted to work for, I don't know, I'm seeing like, like Paramount Studios, like a big, you know, something like that, like a big time something. And they're like, hey, you've got the right skills or whatever, but Page of Pentacles, we're going to start you, you know, I don't know, low man on the totem pole. Like you're getting the opportunity, but maybe not in the exact position that you wanted just yet, but you're in. You know what I mean? Like I feel like you're in whatever this is for you. Why is a star card here coming in for Pisces? Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords. I was like, why is the Two of Pentacles here again? Lover's card, and they said keep it. Um, this is a new divinely guided person or situation for you. Um, and love and romance, that kind of thing for you. This would be a masculine figure coming in to offer you... Um, I feel like so much two of pentacles, seven of pentacles, the lover's card, like a lot of traveling energy I'm picking up on. There might be a move as well. Like someone might be coming out and expressing, Hey, I need to talk to you. I need to invite you page of pentacles to coffee. I need to talk to you, that kind of energy. And when y'all actually get together and have a conversation two of pentacles, seven of pentacles, lover's card, this person has a divinely guided contract for you. And it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something where you're like, oh my gosh, is this good for me or is it not? Because you have the seven of pentacles. Is this, is this a part of my stability? Is this a part of the plan? Why is the Hierophant here for Pisces? You have the sun card, babes. You're being blessed big time. This is the sun card. This is the happiest, most abundant card in the deck. In career, in love, in you, in your journey, in everything, in spirit, in health, in e e e e e everything. When you get the sun card, it's a okay. Everything is uh, good. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Strength card. High Priestess and the Six of Cups and the Three of Cups, A. Eh? Okay. This is definitely for a lot of you and a King of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. Um, potentially from your past, Six of Cups and Three of Cups would be a, a reunion type energy. High Priestess is a highly spiritual connection. You have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. That's a that's a uh, that's the highest regarded um, counterpart here. With the sun card and the strength card this double leo energy some of you specifically could be getting um leo energy coming in counterpart i mean this is definitely 
um, like the biggest contract of your life, like whether in a, in a connection or in career, this, I mean, these are all major arcanas. Like I'm almost speechless. Y'all know me. I'm usually like screaming and freaking out and I'm just like, what's going on? Like it's what, like this is intense in the best way, in the best way, sun card, strength, high priestess. And you know this too. You know that you've also, you're getting this because you deserve it. And also high priestess energy. You're being blessed with something because you've passed the some kind of uh, test here with the strength card. You've passed a lot of that, whatever you released. You've passed some kind of test where spirit's giving this to you. Because you're the, you're the one that's able to hold the pentacle. You're being trusted with something. Very sacred here. Okay, six of cups, three of cups. You're being tr is trusted with a sacred connection. You're being trusted with like a sacred job. You're being trusted with a sacred something. Uh, we're just going to have to take one more on all of this. It's so, what is all this? Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Two of Cups, four, what? Four of Cups, uh, I'm sorry, no, no. This has been the delay, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Spirit's really been, again, pushing you into your independence here. Could you do it by yourself? Something like that, but you passed the test. I was like, what is this really? Hierophant, again, Two of Cups, Four of Wands. This could be a twin flame, soul uh soulmate kind of connection here you guys it's big time that is giving me major chills <laughs> okay let's look at this nine of cups this is a wish fulfillment card for you some of you this is like the person you're going to i don't know um i'm hearing just ride or die like ride or die this is your ride or die person this is your ride or die contract this is your ride or die opportunity <laughs> Why is the Nine of Cups here for Pisces, please? Okay, full card and the Page of Cups this is a new journey for you. This is opening up with the full card. This is opening up a whole new world for you. A whole new, brand new life for you, okay? Ten of Wands, you've already passed those tests. The hardest part is over. The hard part is over. For some of you, this is about someone coming in. Um, there is a love situation within the page of cups on the nine of cups. There is someone who is a wish fulfillment to you. That is page of cups offering you their cup of love, friendship, romance, whatever that means to you. What's this nine of cups? Yeah. Page of wands. You and someone are getting to know, know each other. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially with the sun card and Leo, lots of fire energy. Lots of fire around you. Lots of passion. <clears throat> What's this Knight of Wands? Yeah. Two of Swords, Six of Wands, Hierophant. This is someone who is like, hey, um... I'm hearing someone say to you, because this is not you, this is somebody else coming in, someone who's passionate about you, someone who's going to take a, take a chance on you. Hierophant, Six of Wands, Two of Swords, they're saying, hey, I might have been asleep to this in the past, but they're kind of awake now, Three of Cups. This, birth, this is going to be definitely an opportunity to celebrate. We have the Hierophant out again. This is a higher level commitment. Someone's really grown up. Someone's ready to invest in you, grow with you, build with you. Where in the past, they were not. They were inconsistent. You might have been an option to this person. You might have made this person an option. Something that was on the back burner is coming to the, the front of the stage. <laughs> in the most honorable, high-level destined way possible why are the two of pentacles here for pisces 
This is going to be such a busy energy for you. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah. I think I was... Yeah. Woo! Yeah, so this is going to be a huge opportunity. Uh, five of pentacles, eight of cups, nine of pentacles, and we have the empress on this. You know, you're the empress here, Pisces. You're the divine feminine, and we have the emperor. We have the divine masculine. Um, I am picking up that this has been someone that they've been lonely without you. You might have felt lonely without them. There has been a separation in the past year, Eight of Cups, where both you and this person had to separate. You and this situation had to take a break or separate for you to come into your own, to make sure, Spirit had to make sure you deserved this, had to make sure... And it's not even them. You had to make sure for yourself that you could handle something like this. Okay, why? Because the tower is out. This is going to change everything about your current situation. This is someone coming in, an opportunity that's going to change every everything in your life. Yeah, Ace of Wands. We have a King of Swords showing up. I feel like the way that you are weighing your options is learning the lesson of Empress Nine of Pentacles. Who you are when you're without this person needs to still shine when you're with this person. Who you are as an individual still needs to shine even when you're in that new job, low man on the totem pole. They still need you. They still need your authenticity. Do you understand? I hope you're catching on to that. You still, no matter what, if you're going into like a new high level connection with somebody, you still need to be you. Don't get lost in the connection. Don't get lost in the dream of the job. Don't get lost in the money. Don't get lost in the... There's thunder on that. <laughs> like It's raining and thunder. Like that's confirmation. Don't get lost in the sauce, okay? Let's look at your Ten of Cups. Beautiful ending here, emotional fulfillment um, for everybody when we get the Ten of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups flew out with the World card. Six of Cups is a soulmate connection of the past. Yeah, we have a Page of Swords, Ace of Wands. This is a messenger. Someone is wanting a new beginning. Page of Swords is a... Could be a text message, a DM, something like that. Ace of Wands. Hey, let's do this. Ace of Wands. New, passionate beginning. Oh. Ace of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. This is love. Absolutely. Um, justice card here could be Libra energy. Um, with the devil here, this is a strong bond, okay? When we get um, bottom of the deck, we have... Let me show you. Oh, my goodness. What a strong bond. We have the Ace of Cups, we have the Justice card, the Devil, and look at that, the Chariot. So there's a strong sense of duality, um, light and dark in this connection, in this opportunity for you. Because you're getting this cup, right? I feel like you're going to still be around temptation type energy, but you've passed the test where you're able to get this person, this connection, this opportunity, this job this next new phase in your life Pisces because you're the one that can handle it you're the one that has the capacity to handle such high level whatever you fill in the blank you know what it is oh it's so good this is really really big energy and really really beautiful for you um I want to see one thing what's that queen of swords who is this queen of swords for you yeah it's the knight of swords and the world card this is someone who is going to reach out um, again, a messenger energy. I was like, anything else? Star card. Yeah, this is this is a, a meant to be destined connection or situation for you. Absolutely beautiful, Pisces. Congratulations. Um, let's do your pick a card. And Pisces, if you want to do the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Pisces that won the pick a card this time is Aaron uh, Bruard. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Aaron, you are my winner. So Pisces, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time, I might pick you. I love y'all so much, and I will see you next time.
All right, Erin, this is for you, my love. How are you? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. We've got two more uh, shuffles for you. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Aaron Bruard? Thank you, Spirit. Pisces energy. All right, girl, you have the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That is beautiful, um, independent, single, ready to mingle type energy, whether you're single or not. It's just you're very um, in alignment, very good on your own. You're a very independent woman, Aaron. Cherry, Cancer energy. Something's coming in fast. Ace of Swords, a truth. You might be understanding something like super quick. Aaron. It's coming in here. The Emperor. Oh yeah, King of Wands. Strong Aries, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Eight of Wands. Um, there's an Emperor. There's a Divine Masculine. Either someone um, that you want to partner with in romance or this could be like a father or an authority type figure to, uh, to you. But either way, this person, Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, they wanna talk to you. They wanna, um, they need to talk to you, is what I'm hearing. And like Chariot, this person is, it's like with gusto. <gasps> Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Oh my God, Eight of Swords, yes, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck i feel like there's some stuff to hash out with this person but girl what i know you're a pisces but hold up you have the chariot the king of wands the emperor the queen of wands i'm so glad i just caught on to that you've got a twin flame this is a twin flame type match soulmate connection something like that this is a this is a a, a match to you Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. This is like a, we want to be together forever. We want to build our life together. We want to build our dreams together. Eight of Swords, there is a lot of like fears around this on your end. I also feel like because this King of Wands, maybe in the past, we can only see half of their face. This person might have been a little in and out of your life or in and out of the situation. Queen of Swords, at the bottom of the deck, y'all are going to talk it out, hash it out. I cannot wait to clarify this. Whoa. Oh my God. They're coming in quick. Coming in quick. Emperor this is a match to you. Ten of Pentacles is the outcome. It's the everything card. What is this? For Aaron, what's this chariot energy? There's a strength card. Strong uh, connection to Leo or Leo energy. Knight of Pentacles. I love that. Wheel of Fortune, it's time. Like, wherever there's been delays, wherever there's been setbacks, whatever here in this situation, Wheel of Fortune, um, Strength Card, Knight of Pentacles, Temperance. There's been healing here. There's been divine timing at play. Ugh, my nose is itching, sorry. That's like your angels and guides, like, really, really here. <laughs> There's been a, a test of strength here for a long time. If you've been without somebody or it's been a difficult chapter, that's been for a reason. You had to go through a difficult, um, just a difficult time for a reason. I'm hearing endurance. What's this King of Wands for you? High Priestess, a high spiritual connection. Um, and the Eight of Cups is with that. This is someone who you might have walked away from magician in the past devil um they might have had there might have been a third party type energy what's this king of wands yeah two of pentacles um someone might have not been ready to commit this person maybe didn't want to commit to you or commit to the situation i don't want to say to you but it would be to the situation they might have had other situations going on what's this emperor for aaron It's a huge judgment here. Yeah, death card, seven of wands. Um, this emperor has had to make, make a decision to like 
shit or get off the pot? Am I gonna still pretend I don't have feelings for Aaron? Am I gonna still pretend I don't wanna build my life with Aaron? Or am I just gonna like know that this is what I'm supposed to do, page of pentacles? or just apologize and get grounded and get checked back into reality. I feel like you've been dealing with a divine masculine who's like had his head in the clouds, you know, he or she, just the, a masculine energy. And it's like that person needed to be brought down to reality. They might've had some, some difficult karma recently. I mean, I'm hearing reality check for them. Queen of Wands, why is this here? This is you, yeah, two of swords. You're like, why are you back? Page of swords. You're getting a message from this person and page of pentacles because they're offering you something and you go, why are you back? Like, why? Like you're real quick to figure out king of swords. They do want to talk and like lay the cards out on the table when we get this king of swords. It's, we can see his whole face. Um, oh, he's had a change of perspective. And you're like, okay. Eight of Swords. <gasps> that scared me too, Bubba. That was a scary one. Oh man, that lightning scared the shit out of me. What's this Eight of Swords for Aaron, please? Uh, you got the Six of Swords. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. I feel like there is a little bit of still like you're skeptical about this person. Like, hey, are you really telling me the truth? Three of swords, um, knight of swords. There is still a little bit of resistance here, but they're saying the three of swords and the seven together is the 10 of swords. So there is potential to release fears around this. Let's look at your 10 of pentacles. Eight of pentacles, four of cups. You have the Four of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Wow, Ten of Cups in the World card and the Tower here. I do feel like this is going to change everything. I feel like this conversation is going to change everything. Um, and you and someone do want to work something out. I feel like you're solid either way. You have like the home abundance here. There's a major cycle of kind of illusion coming to an end here, okay, is what I'm picking up, seven of swords, three of swords, where maybe your own fears from your past have gotten in the way of this connection and or from this other person. I feel like we're putting all that to rest. You and someone, eight of pentacles, want to work things out. Um and heal this okay that's my reading for you if there's anyone else still here i will see you all in the love reading or next time bye